Hey everybody, hope everybody had a good Christmas. And we're coming up on New Year's. Well, I finally got all my brake stuff for the rear brakes. Brake uh, cylinders, shoes, springs, all the good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. Get these rear brakes done so I can bleed the brakes out. And then I think I'm really getting real close to being able to fire this thing up and pull it out. See how much cut trouble I can get into. Okay, now I got that big Mama Gemma tire off of here. Now this axle is a full floater, which means the axles come all the way out here. This is, this is the end of the axle. In order to pull the brake drum, you have to pull the axle out. Behind the axle, there's two jam nuts and bearings inside that the axle rides on. So first thing we gotta do is pull all these. And I better get a drip pan because it usually drips oil and makes a mess. And here comes the axle. Of course, I make a mess right off the bat. There's our axle. Whoa. Okay. Now there's a there's a a nut in here. You can see in there, there's two nuts. One's got a little ear on it. You got to flatten out to, uh, if it hits in one of those, these little dogs here. Then you see, whenever you get the little tab out of there, then they'll just come loose. Pretty much. <laughs> it's still a two-handed thing. And then this one should just come right out of there, pretty much. Yeah, they do have special tools that do this. Clearly, I don't have one. There's one. And there's the washer that goes in between them. There it is. And the uh, axle's got a keyway in it that that little tooth there fits into that comes out and behind that is another one that actually holds the preload on the bearings I guess this would be more of a spanner wrench to get in there It's cold out here and this oil's thick. There's two. Now the bearing should come out. Another washer in between the bearing and the nut. There it is. It's a beast. See the brakes? Now they're getting down there, but they're not totally shot. The outside is getting pretty thin. But I figure if I got to tear them apart, I'm going to change everything anyway. Because everything looks pretty crusty. And I got to tear them apart anyway because the wheel cylinders are frozen. So we'll take care of all that. All right, so I'm working on these brakes. And the wheel cylinders I got are fine and dandy. Spring kits are, spring kits are good. These spots here, there's six of them that the brake shoes slide around on. I take a flat disc and just kind of go over them real quick flatten them down flatten them out don't get too crazy because I don't want to make the backing plate thin then I take a little bit of white grease just on those spots 
It doesn't last long, I know, but it's better than nothing. Give it a little bit of lubrication. Here's one little trick I do when I'm putting rear brakes together. I'll put, take the adjuster, take it apart, loosen it all up real good so it works well. Put the spring on, put the brakes like this, and I'll install them like this. They'll, they'll sit there and they'll hang. You don't have to worry about trying to hold them on. And you can put the hold, then you can put the hold down springs on. A little easier. Saves a little bit of time and fighting. Just like that. And the emergency brake bar or parking brake bar or whatever whatever the proper thing to call it is. Goes right in there. Oh, that spring goes around. This little nub comes out here to the side because it's supposed to catch on the bar. Where it goes there. Let's see, I think it's short long spring on this one. No, I'm sorry. That's backwards. Short long spring on this one. Short spring on this one, because it hooks onto that. There we go. <clears throat> kind of messed up. All the spring kits used to give you every spring. Now they only give you most of them. And of course, when I used to do brakes every day, at Firestone, I was a lot younger and my knees worked better. That's not in where it goes. <laughs> there it is. There it is. And that's that. Take a pair of pliers. I just always just pinch that. And that one's ready to go. There's side one. Okay, now like I say, putting the brakes back together. You take the Get back that back through there. Take these and just kind of hang them in a place where they go. And they'll pretty much stay there until you get your, your uh, hold down springs in. Makes it a little bit easier. Okay, now it turns out. Looks like this cable's frozen. It won't let the emergency brake back off enough. For those who just sit on the pin. <clears throat> All right, so as you can see, I got both sides buttoned up. I left the axles out Ugh. so I can still turn the brake. That one might be a little tight. It'll loosen up real quick. I don't have anybody handy to help me bleed the brakes out. So I don't know how you do how you do it, but I usually do this. 
I pump the brake up, hold it down. I put this clamp on here to hold to hold the brake pedal down. Then I go around and open the valve. Then close the valve and redo it. And just do that over and over again. Now I've tried using one of these. You hook that up and let the shove that on the bleeder. But these bleeders are so short the hose won't stay on it. I mean it's little tiny. And I don't think that's a really good way of doing it anyway. You don't get it 100% because you only have the hose over the end of the bleeder valve. Air can still leak out of the threads, which it does. I mean, it's a good way to get it roughly done, but you still need pressure at the master cylinder to get it up, bleed it up completely. All right, so that's it. That's it for this video. I'm going to cut this one short. That's just doing the rear brakes. Who hasn't done brakes? I've done... I used to work at a brake shop, worked there for years. We did hundreds of brake jobs. So, brakes are done. Let's see, now what? Oh, I got I to gotta fix that gas pedal. Anyway, I got other things to do. I want to thank everybody for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, I started this before Christmas and got busy with family and stuff. Doggone family gets in the way of everything. Appreciate everybody watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. Take care.